Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comment section below. Daniel Peter O'Herlihy was an Irish actor who appeared in films, television shows, and radio broadcasts. His best-known roles include his Oscar-nominated portrayal of the lead character in Luis Buñuel's Robinson Crusoe and Andrew Packard in the television series Twin Peaks. In 2005, O'Herlihy died of natural causes in Malibu, California. The English actor-manager Sir Donald Wolfitt was famous for staging Shakespeare productions during World War II. Known for portraying King Lear, he played several major supporting roles at the Old Vic Theatre in 1930, including Richard of Bordeaux with John Gielgud and his Hamlet at the Shakespeare Memorial Theatre in 1936. As a 65-year-old, Wolfitt died of cardiovascular disease in Hammersmith, London on February 17, 1968. An American actress and singer, Jeanette Theresa Dubois was also known as Jeanette Dubois, Jeanette Dubois, and Jeanette Dubois. The CBS sitcom Good Times, which aired from 1974 to 1979, portrayed her as Wilona Woods, a neighborhood gossip mill and friend of the Evans family. She died on February 17, 2020 from cardiac arrest at her Glendale, California, residence. A coloratura soprano and actress, Catherine Grayson trained as an opera singer from the age of 12. In the early 1940s, Grayson signed with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, establishing a career primarily through musicals. The 88-year-old Grayson died in her sleep at her home in Los Angeles on February 17, 2010. A character actor, director, and producer who appeared in television, radio, and films, Paul Stewart frequently portrayed sinister and cynical characters. After a long illness, Stewart died of heart failure at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on February 17, 1986, aged 77. He made his Broadway debut in Subway Express. An English actor, Richard David Bryars worked in film, radio, stage, and television for five decades. When he narrated Rhubarb and Noah and Nellie in Skylark and played Tom Good in the BBC sitcom The Good Life, Briars achieved fame as George Starling from Marriage Lines, but it wasn't until a few years later that he became a household name. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease took his life on February 17, 2013 at his home in Bedford Park, London. A German film and television actress named Sonia Alice Selma Tony Zeman was one of Germany's most famous actresses in the 1950s. She won the 1950 Bambi Award for playing in The Black Forest Girl together with Rudolf Prock. She began acting more seriously in international films such as The Secret Ways from the 1960s. At the age of 94, Zeman died on February 17, 2020. The actress Tala Byrol was born in Romania and worked on stage and screen in Vienna. Byrol was a double for Marlena Dietrich in German films. In a Berlin production of Madame Pompadour, Byrol made her debut in a hit. Star of the stage in Europe, she gained popularity in American films including a role in Bringing Up Baby. From 1958 to 1979, Warren Frost worked sporadically in films and television, primarily in theater. He was best known for his television roles on Matlock and Seinfeld, as well as as Dr. Hayward in Twin Peaks, which he co-created with his son. At the age of 91, Frost died at home in Middlebury, Vermont, after a lengthy illness. The American actor William Dennis Gargan starred in movies, television, and radio. 
He was nominated for Best Supporting Actor in 1941 for his role as Joe and They Knew What They Wanted, and in 1967 was awarded the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award for the fifth time. On February 17, 1979, on a flight from New York City to San Diego, he died of a heart attack at the age of 73.